scoop moves. So uh, it's 4 a.m. and getting ready to head out, meet Go Kart Ricky, and uh, go run the dog. See if we can't catch a couple hogs in this gated community where um, I manage the hog, the hog population. Should be a good morning, nice and cool, and uh, we're gonna get there nice and early. So hopefully we'll have something for you here soon. Hold up. We got Moose, Honey, and Nip with me today. Um, kind of my A team, and uh, I expect us to do real well. Ricky's got a couple of his dogs he's bringing along, and we're gonna hit them hard. A little foggy. What's that? Dude, another one. No shit. Hell yeah. Nice fine, man. <laughs> My dogs do real well with Ricky's dogs. Uh, they they work well together. They have experience hunting with each other. And uh, my dogs are a little bit younger. They're a little less experienced than Ricky's dogs. So it's always good to bring them along and, and have them learn a thing or two and, and see how it's done. Right as the sun came up, we were able to get on a hog. Good hog. dogs off unfortunately because of where we were how far out we were we had to euthanize this hog it just wasn't realistic for us to take it out alive I'm not allowed to bring my vehicle or ATV in this specific area and she was just too much for us to drag out with all the dog everything like that we quickly euthanized her uh, by stabbing her in the heart and in the lungs and uh, got the dogs off of her come here good girl what a good girl Come here, honey. Alright, come on. Come on, honey. Good girl. And uh, we're a good ways out, too. So for me to tote this live hog out, it, it would be quite a struggle. Good boy, Moose. So the dogs caught this big old sow in the act. She was busting all this ground up. You can see damage one little hog does. Not quite little, but here she is. Definitely pregnant. Glad to get her out. Good girl, honey. Good boy, Hank. From there, uh, we were kind of planned on just slowly working our way out and seeing if we could catch anything else because of how hot it was getting. Working our way out now. It's just, it's getting too hot. Dogs will overheat and it's not good. And uh, sure enough, on the way out, we started getting some hot sign. Uh, Go-Kart Ricky's dogs and my dogs kind of seemed like they were maybe uh, interested in a couple different things. And then uh, Moose, I heard him jump something and start barking and then catch it what sounded like I could tell was a hog. We just got one. When we got there, it was kind of like worst case scenario almost. All the dogs are in this head catching this one hog. It, it is just the thickest vines you can imagine and they're gator vines. They're just covered in thorns, super thick and strong and they just grab a hold of you and tangle you up. I can get them out. I got nowhere to chain them up. I got Got him? Yep. Hold on, hold on. Hold on, 
We had to actually drag the hog about halfway out. That's all we could do to quickly get a knife in its heart and kill it so we could kind of defuse the situation. And um, from there, I was, I was really working hard making sure Moose and Little Hank didn't fight each other in that, in that gator vine head because I knew it would be hard to get to them. They did start fighting in this gator vine head. Hey! Hey, Moose! Knock it off! No, goddammit! No! Drop it! Hey! Hey! Come on! Get out of here! Go! You're alright, Bubba. You're alright. Good boy. Good boy. It was, you know, it's something you got to deal with sometimes. These are working dogs, hunting dogs. They got a lot of drive, a lot of testosterone. You know, they all think they're the baddest thing in the woods. So when you get them trying to claim ownership over a hog they just caught, you're, you're bound to get a fight sometimes. All right, so we got two down. Real happy about that. Working my way back to my dogs now. I had to chain them up. There was no trees around us, so I had to kind of walk them 50 yards away or so. Good boy, Bubba. Good boy, move. Hold on. Good boy. Good girl. It's a good girl. All right, come on. Let me get you. Good boy. Yeah, what are you doing, you silly dog? All right, working our way out now. Back over by the houses, nearing the truck. Got two hogs out today. Made a little bit of money. I'm happy. Um, it was great training for the dogs as well. They uh, caught that last one in a super, super thick head. So I'm super proud of them that, you know, they went in there, no hesitation, and uh, did what they were supposed to do. Unfortunately, uh, because of how far out we were and just where we were, we had to kill the hogs just with the situation, all the dogs on them. It's uh, too hard to keep them alive, too dangerous and uh, too hard to get them out. So um, we had to kill the hogs, but nothing goes to waste. We'll make use of everything. And uh, got this neighborhood, two hogs, fewer. So um, we'll be back here probably next week, but uh, they should be good for now. Uh, hopefully no houses tore up or anything like that. I've gotten this area really under control, so they're, uh, they're happy.